All right, how's it going guys? So today let's take a look at Gundam Converge EX23, the Shinanju full weapon set. So this is a set in the EX line which is usually reserved for like larger things, mobile armors and things like that. But in this case, they're using it just for just the single Shinanju, but it comes with a load of weapons and things that you get with that and a stand too, I believe. So we'll take a look at all this cool box right there on the front. Obviously just the Shinanju with its just kind of main uh, weaponry accessories that we typically think of with the Shinanju, just the shield and the rifle. But of course it does come with more here on the top of the box. You just got a cool shot there of just the Shinanju's face. Very cool. On the sides, nothing. Bottom, nothing really much there. And then on the back, just some shots here showing what all is actually included. So it looks like we've got the beam axes as well as two bazookas as well as the smaller bazooka which is attached onto the beam rifle and a couple of beam sabers. It's all summarized down here in this image as well as the stand there. So let's pop it open and see how it looks, hey, shall we? This is a candy toy of course, so we will have our piece of Bandai chewing gum in here as well once we take this stuff all out. There's that. And we've got, looks like, two bags worth of stuff, so shield and a whole bunch of the weapons parts there. And then over here, the kind of small stand for that, for just having just the Shinanju standing by itself, I won't use that at all. Shield and all the parts for making the Shinanju itself. And I gotta say, first impression though, that uh, gold trim lining for that does look really, really nice. And then there's a small little piece of instructions here if you need help with just how to put everything all together. So let me get this out and we'll take a look at just the Shinanju itself first. All right, so here we go. Shinanju looking very handsome, I must say, in Converge form. Uh, I'm not sure actually if this is uh, if this mold is different from the original Converge Shinanju because there has been just a regular Converge Shinanju out before that I would like to get my hands on sometime if I can. Still need to get one of those. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if this is different or not, but this one I do have to say does look very, very nice. You can see there is some color apps missing, like little bits of gray here for some of these thrusters and things like that, so it's not perfectly all there, but that is where you could go in and paint in some of those details, I think, make this look even better. Uh, add a couple decals on there, and you are really gonna be having a really nice looking Shinanju here. So, very cool, and then the detail up underneath the feet there even as well. And again, this this plastic bit on the outside, I don't really like this about the older Converge figures. I'm glad they've done it with, did away with this with the newer series. Uh, but you don't need that for this to stand, to stand on its own. It will stand perfectly fine, just like that. Now, for the shield, we have this connection piece, which will connect onto the back of the arm here. And the shield, again, looking very, very nice there with that gold. Uh, has a couple of spot slots there on the back. This one is for plugging onto the connector, and then these are for plugging on the uh, axes. We'll see that there in a minute. So there you go, that's connected on. And uh, we have a closed fist here for the left side, but no closed fist for the right side, so unfortunately. So if you wanted to have it like not actually holding anything in the hand, uh, then you're gonna have this, this big gap in the hand, unfortunately. I don't think anyone's really gonna wanna do that, but it kinda would've been cool if they're gonna have a whole bunch of accessories included to include a closed fist for the right hand as well, maybe. Uh, and then when we put this up on a raised base, we have an extra set of feet. So these feet are angled down so they won't just be flat. So when you have it actually like floating, it'll look like it's actually floating in the air. So when you pop that on, you can see it's not angled down. So it'll look much better when you have the Shinanja actually up and floating rather than just like floating in the air with his feet flat, just wouldn't really look quite right. So that's really cool. Now let's take a look at all of these other accessories that we get with this. So we do have our holding hand for the left hand, or if you want to dual wield. We have the Shinanju's beam rifle, very nice. So not really gonna have any other colors other than just this kind of metallic uh, gunmetal color that it's printed in. And you'll notice it does have the grenade launcher underneath there, so that's cool. You can take that off. We'll just pull the barrel off there. You can take off the grenade launcher. We'll put that to the side for the now. And then we have a shortened bazooka for going up underneath the rifle, so you can just plug that onto there, and then plug that back into there. And there you go, you have the bazooka mounted beam rifle there, very cool, I love that. Then we have just two regular bazookas, so you can dual wield these if you want. Now you'll notice the handles are different, one handle is tilted off to one side, one is tilted off to the other, so that you're able to hold those uh, easily over the shoulders and they're not looking all kind of strange. So you got two of those, again, would really benefit from some detail painting on those for sure. We of course have our base with this main plate here at the bottom shaped to look exactly like the Shinanju's front chest plate, which is interesting. So there you go, if you want to paint that up, you could do a really nice reverse wash on that and have that looking really cool. 
We got our two just regular beam sabers and with some really nice uh, clear effect parts for that. It's not like kind of soft like in model kits, it's just a hard clear plastic and it looks quite nice with the handles there. And then the two beam axes, so these as well here with some really nice clear yellow effect parts uh, for that. And we have a connection piece here as well. Now this connection piece will allow you to plug these both into there and then you can plug this into the back of the shield. And before we took the grenade launcher off of the beam rifle, this can be attached into the back of the shield, just like in kit form, uh, just onto the back of the shield, like so, like that. And then you can plug the beam axes onto the back of the shield there as well, like so. So it's gonna end up looking like that. Very, very cool. Let's see how it's going to look on the kit. There you go. I'm not sure how well this is going to be able to hold a bazooka while you've got the shield attached onto it. I think if you wanted to dual wield the bazookas, I think you probably can't have the shield on. Let's try it here. Well, there it looks like it kind of fits there. It's looking a little bit crowded over here on this arm with the giant bazooka and all this stuff going on with the shield and everything, but it looks like it can do it if you wanted to, so there you go. Beam saber in hand, gonna look like that. And again, these do have a slight amount of articulation, like you can rotate the arm like so, and then you can rotate the wrist also. So if you wanted to change up the pose a little bit, you can change that, but not too much. And compare with the Converge Unicorn, gonna be looking something like this, very nice. And so there you have it, Shinanju full weapon set. Actually, it doesn't come with two beam rifles. I thought that it did come with two beam rifles, but apparently it does not. So I guess it's not the full weapon set, I don't know. But it's definitely got plenty of weapons. And that is, I think, uh, the thing that I like the most. And the biggest drawback of this kit is that you're paying a lot because it's an EX series figure where normally Converge figures uh, originally priced are around 500 yen each. This one I don't remember, but I think it was closer to 2000 yen. So definitely a lot more for basically just a whole bunch of accessories with this. Now, if you're like me and you just put your Converge figures just like on the shelf or display them and don't actually like change up the weapons or poses of them ever, uh, some of them do come with multiple weapons, like the Unicorn, for example, does come with the Beam Magnum and the Bazooka. Uh, but I, I'm just never really going to want to really change it, so that means I'm just going to have a bunch of leftover accessories in this case, a bunch of leftover weapons that I'm just going to keep in the box and not ever do anything with. So, I mean, pros and cons, you're paying a lot for things, stuff that a lot of parts that you're probably not going to use. That said, you can use a lot of the stuff here with this, so I really don't have all that much stuff left over. As you can see, I've tried to fit basically as much as I can here onto the kit. Uh, without making it look too ridiculous and like I said the quality of it is fantastic already with that too uh, It could definitely benefit from going in and detailing up this uh, with some panel lining some detail painting adding a couple of uh, water slide decals on there just for some Marking numbers and things like that. I think that would definitely improve it for sure But even just straight out of the box it is like this I think with the um, matte black and gold on there for just like the really Shinanju styling it to that it does look really really good so pros and cons if you're really gonna think that it's worth it for you or not uh, it's just gonna gonna be up to you but hopefully this review has been helpful for if you are still on the fence about whether you want to get this or not I can recommend it if you're a big fan of converged stuff like me uh, if not you know it might be a little bit too much uh, too expensive for you so with that guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye thanks for watching See you next time.